Now I'm going to run you through a 10 exercise warm up you can do with a light kettlebell. Now there's a wide variety of exercises here and to be honest if you were to do this with a heavier kettlebell this would be one heck of a workout. Take about 30 seconds to a minute or so for each exercise. The first one we'll do is called the goblet squat. Um, got this from uh, Dan John. You hold the kettlebell in both hands kind of like you have a goblet of wine. And not, staying nice and upright, squat fully down as far as you can go, stand up. Okay, next exercise is what I call the slingshot. It's called the slingshot. Just grab it in a half and half grip, and all you're going to do is go behind your back, hold it like that, come forward. So when it looks going, it'll be like this. Go around your body one way, around your body the next way. Next move is going to really do a great job on your shoulders. It's called the halo. So you're going to grab the kettlebell like this. You're going to come around your head one way and around your head the other. After you've done it a couple times, you can lean a little bit. I like leaning a little bit to the side. It tends to uh, loosen up my sides a bit. Okay, the next move we're going to cover is called the figure eight. And we're going to figure eight between our legs with the kettlebell. So just go like that, go one way, then go the other way. Okay? Figure eight. Next move definitely takes a lot of uh, flexibility in the hips and legs and shoulders. So just rack the kettlebell with both hands, press it up overhead, and we're going to try to do an overhead squat. Get a little bit wider grip with your feet. One hand's going to go down, other hand is up, and you're looking at the kettlebell. So just go down, come up. You're going to kind of twist slightly down, come up. If you switch, I'll show it to you from behind. Get the kettlebell up, come down. Even though I'm kind of leaning to the side a bit, you still want to keep your spine fairly straight. Next move is called a good